My name is uh, Jarle Sandrib. Uh, I'm the team leader for uh, the unmanned surface vessel uh, development here at Norwegian Defense Research Establishment in Norway. These are technology demonstrators for the next generation of mine countermeasures. My Khalifa Rashid Al Mahmari. The position is the head of Zawarq 16, and the experience is the quick experience. I mean, it's about 15 years old. The Zawarq is a good one for me. Zawarq 16. ومحركاته طبعا وتر جت ومن نوع هاملتون. My name is Senior Constable Justin Dunn and I currently work for Queensland Police Service. This is a uh, fit for purpose built vessel. Uh, it's designed to provide support to the Southern Bay Islands via vehicle transport and also police to those islands. Jetlink uh, allowed us to do easy and reliable integration to the vessel driveline propulsion system. Uh, the water jets are uh, low maintenance and provide high reliability. And it also uh, allows us not to worry about the low level uh, operation of the vessel and we can concentrate uh, on what we need to do with the higher level autonomy. عندك الاستجابة كذلك في في المحرك في في الجت أعطيه سبيد على طول يعطيك ال السبيد ما يوقف معك مش نفس المكان العادية سرعة الاستجابة هذه من 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 الأشياء الموجودة في ال في الجت كذلك ال the speed that we can get to and maintain especially when we've got a number a number of vehicles on deck we have to get to the islands very quickly. Out in the southern bay, we have a lot of shallow water at low tides, which can present challenges to us uh, in transiting from island to island. Being in this area of operation uh, with a lot of shallow water, uh, we can get in a lot closer. We can get over the water a lot quicker and they're more efficient. عندك القدرة العالية في المناورة يعني عندك أحيانا يعني أقدر أناور في أماكن ضيقة أقدر أناور في أماكن بحر مفتوح أقدر أناور في We are very wind affected down here and we do have a lot of underwater currents especially when we come in on ramps they're probably some of the biggest challenges that we do face Maneuverability to get us around into those ramps is, um, is second to none. It's critical. Using the mouse boat is very good, especially for, uh, for getting into those tight areas, and you just want to use fine maneuverability to bring you around. So now we're uh, remotely operating the USV, and um, a remote control was uh, the first thing we uh, implemented when we uh, made our. Uh, own bridge to the JetLink interface, and it proved a very valuable tool to ease the integration and also test the integration we have made. We're currently using Blue Arrow controls with the addition of the jet anchor, and we run three control stations. We run in the helm and two wing stations. Jet anchor is the best addition we've ever had on this vessel. Previously on, on our uh, other vessel, uh, we didn't have the jet anchor. We can now just drop vehicles off on the island, just go out in the middle of the, of the paddock and just drop the jet anchor and just sit there as long as possible. It's perfect. I've always said that uh, since I've gone to a, a jet boat, I would never go back to a prop boat. I love them, they're great.